this is going to be on two on both of our channels so i'm not going to say any channel names right here i got me a brand new expert grill but not the one that um it has the lid on this is a rotisserie it's an open space grill i showed you this uh, i'll show you the specs right after this i'll show you all the things on it uh it's it'll it's about a 22 pound capacity has a very large um, cooking area which i'll go with that so what we're going to do today is i'm going to show you how to assemble it ain't that great a lot of a lot of them get these things even on my other one and like how do you put it together wrong i ain't put nothing together wrong <laughs> you gotta watch me put it together and uh we'll then we'll box this i've got the top open i'm not going to show you show you me taking it out of the box i think y'all can all handle that but what you do want to do once we get it out you want to separate all your parts like your little screws over here and different sizes make sure you count them there there'll be a little book in here that tells you how many screws of each you're supposed to have Get all that out make sure you have everything makes assembly a whole lot easier and please even though you're watching me please read your book all right let's do this okay as you can see it shows that all the parts they're numbered and then if you come over here to the right side of it it has the description of what they are and how many you should have and they also come in, uh, in a separated multi-pack, which is right back there. I will be opening those, counting them, and see the screwdriver. Or if you got a little small drill, will be fine. But you don't want to strip these out. So if you got a clutch on it, that'd be great. And I like to use have some pliers handy just in case. First thing it tells us to do is put the legs on. Uh, Rebecca's gave me got our little magnetic little dish here so I've got all everything that I need uh, to put these on it'll tell you in the instructions exactly which screw so it actually is gonna have a screw a lock washer and a washer it's all you need okay so let's put the first uh, it said put the back part on first and then do the front part it has expert grill written on written on the base of the of the uh, pan so that's the front so we're going to do the back side first right, so i'm going to take my screw and you'll put the lock washer on there first or it says spring washer it has a little split in it and then the washer and all we're going to do is put this we're going to find the hole in here first there's the hole and get the screw going Always finger tighten it before you before you tighten it down. Get everything in there first. That way I can let go of it and get my next one ready. So I'm going to continue this until I have this attached. Put the back two in and the front two in, and we'll be back. And then I'm going to do the other leg the same way. So once we get the legs put on, with the, the same thing, you get the screw, put the spring washer slash lock washer on there. Put your washer on there and then push it through the hole so we'll be right back all right there's the legs on so we're going to move on to the next part right, next it calls for us to put deflectors on and all you need are the specific screws there's no uh, washers or anything so this is facing me which is the front and i'm looking at it this will be my left side this will be my right side The smooth side faces in and it'll sit on there just like that. So all we gotta do is put the screws into the holes designated for it. Or just line the holes up with it. Go ahead and get you one screw in there to get it started. Do not tighten them all down until you get them all in. Just get them uh, hand tight. That one screw right there will hold that up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the screws in and both sides and we'll be right back. Notice how that deflector is flush 
with the side, that's how you want to put it on there. And the smooth side's on the inside. The smooth side is on the inside. And the outside has the indention for these screws. Make that face when you're tightening them. And one thing about these grills, any grill, after a month or two of use, you probably want to clean it up and go back and retighten your screws up because the heat getting hot and cold will loosen these screws up. So you have to maintain your grills throughout the year. Makes you a lot longer. And see the notches for the to hold the rotisserie on this outside part. Uh, put the dampers on there. It's got a place for a knob and two screws so it'll, you can slide it back and forth it goes right here first of all we just want to slide that in there go ahead and get the handle on there all right comes with a little rinse section comes with a little rinse section on the end here to do that and it has a bottle opener and that side is the great picker upper so we'll go in from the outside to the inside and the little um, nut will go on to the inside again right now just hand tighten it and get the other one in All I got to do is tighten it down, but as you can see, that's how it'll work. Just back and forth. All right. So to tighten these down, you'll probably have to flip this to the side. Unless you're very tall. Cap screws. That means it has a little cap on the top. If you did what I did and tighten it too tight, which it only goes so far, barely in there, you'll knock the cap off. So, and no, no big deal. It's not gonna hurt anything. But these only get so tight, so just snug them in there and they're good. All right, after you get the dampers in, it tells you to go ahead and put the grate in. You don't really have to do that right now, but just make sure everything fits. Go ahead and do that, okay? So there's the grate. Show them how the lifter for it works. Remember I told you it has the lifter. So you want to hold it like that. It's got a little bottle cap on there. So you basically stick right up under one and up under another one and it picks up just like that. So I got that with two little fingers. That's just how light it is. Make sure you, when you put your grade in, these, this bottom support ridge, it goes facing down. So you got a smooth top, okay? So don't get that confused all right so our next thing we're going to put we're going to set this to the side of the second before we mount motor will be the last thing we mount so you don't forget this this is at the very bottom of your box we're like where's my where's my rotisserie bar and Rebecca found it at the bottom of the box so look up under everything at the very bottom get your uh, spit bar out so we're gonna put the um, we'll put the handle on this screws right in there Okay.
you just want to get this down in here you got a little groove here that sets into your settings okay so you don't want to get too close to that leave you a little room there because you're probably going to cook your chicken in the center portion or chicken roast can't wait to do a good old roast on here these things come with little protective caps you can keep them or discard them so this one faces that way make sure you put this one on facing this way I'm gonna undo the screw a little bit all right I'm just tighten it down and then make sure when you do this you probably won't get your pair of pliers when you get this set up to make sure they don't come loose during the rotisserie of this okay here's your rotisserie motor and we're going to put it on the on the little mount here basically this portion right here slides up into the back of it and you got two little holes for screws that go down in there it only goes on one way you can't mess it up well let me you shouldn't be able to mess it up i would i've seen people make holes in it just to make it fit <laughs> there's holes already in here all right everything has lined up so well yeah they whoever did their blueprints on this did a great job everything like rebecca says lined up very well It's been less than an hour putting this together. And I could have done this a lot quicker, but we are filming this, so that'll only screw in so far, then it stops. So once it stops, don't be screwing it in no more. Has an on and off switch. Comes with a power cord. And you can also run it off batteries. Isn't that cool? Power goes out charcoal wood and you're still cooking what about that it's pretty neat all right let's get this assembly here they go in right here one on each side not sure the purpose of this yet but we'll figure it out and i think it's to help do the drop and hold on to the settings yeah Exactly right, it holds on to the adjustments. Yeah, so that's what they fit in right there. So that's cool. This will fit inside. I'll show you in just a minute. I, I see what it's for now. So they fit in. You just recording? Mm -hmm. So those fit in right into the notch there. So whichever height you want to put this to you just take it out however close you want to rotisserie your chicken or whatever you're rotisserie in you kind of lift it up to pull yep. it to change the setting don't you yeah if i stand to the side like you're supposed to i can see where i'm going yeah just fits in there just like that Sure you push it all the way in flip the switch flip your switch and there it goes my rotisserie is not meant to go fast you guys it uh it's just a slow process and it's so tasty and it's see these are kind of angled in especially this one's angled in a little bit so make sure this little round groove right here is in there or it won't spin so you may have to bend it just a little bit out and uh, bend it back a little bit 
over time of use, it'll get right into place. So there you go. This is the front of the grills facing Rebecca. We did notice it has some extra holes right here. And I'm assuming that's for some attachments. Maybe you can put a hood on it or you could um, purchase you some uh, little sheet metal cut it, bend it, make your own little hood to keep the heat in, smoke, smoking around it. So I don't know, but uh, they may undoubtedly have some kind of other attachments for this, but, but we've used everything else with this all together. Nice little height. Now it's going to sit low to the ground, or this is something you could put on a table. Get this up here, you, this expert rotisserie grill comes with a little uh, booklet, has some little tips in there. Uh, good great thing it says when uh, you need to add so you can put coal all in the whole bottom of this or you can do it on either side for a slow cook for a full out heat cook you just go ahead and fill the whole bottom up and then for a slower cook put a little put a few rows on each side it cooks slower has uh, some recipes in here for chicken you can do a pork tenderloin in here you can do a prime rib roast beef, uh, root vegetables, you put potatoes and stuff, all kind of things you can do on this. Hamburgers, hot dogs, cook straight over the, the coals. Three adjustments to how close you want it to the coals. But this thing will, will hold, hold a lot of uh, charcoal, so you could really do a long cook on this. So I might even try to do a rib on here. Well, that would be good. All right, so you get this right now which is april the 16th you can go to walmart get this for 77 dollars uh, and with my military discount we got a little discount on it so it was cheaper than that so um right now if you want to go to walmart and get this they did not pay us to do i went and bought this on my own this was a well rebecca got it to me for my birthday which was the 14th so this is my birthday present I had the choice between this and a soup maker. I canned the soup maker and went for this. So Amazon carries it too, but they're out of stock. Yeah, Amazon's out of stock. Plus, it's cheaper. Just go to the store. Just go to Walmart right. and get it. Amazon okay. was 88. So this will complement my other expert grill that I already have. Y'all seen the uh, seen it on there? So I hope you like this. Next thing we'll do, I'm gonna show you a cook on this. I've already bought a whole rotisserie chicken I'm gonna put on there or a roasting chicken. So we're gonna get that done. And the next thing I might do a rib on there. I'm really thinking about that rib. All right, hope you enjoyed this. First time here, please subscribe, share, like, comment, watch us on both channels, give us thumbs up, okay? All that helps us get more views. We appreciate that and helps it being shown more so. All right. Most important, y'all come back. Bye. Bye. Rebecca did an awesome job on the camera. Just to let you know, if I was doing this by myself and not filming it, I could have probably put this together in about 15 minutes tops. So that's how easy it was.